Are you using ManyChat to build flows for your business? Oftentimes, as a chatbot builder, you're going to need to give the person options inside the flow. What I'm going to show in this video is what's called a dynamic gallery, which is a feature of ManyChat. I'm going to show my ninja trick, though, how to create an engaging experience so once they come into the gallery, they're not going to see the same message each time. They'll be able to navigate and come back to the main menu and navigate over and over again. So I'll show you exactly how that works. In this example, I'm gonna show I build a chatbot to introduce my ProEdge chatbot for real estate. And in there, I give people an experience where they can select different playbooks and see how chatbot marketing works for them. And they're using the gallery inside of ManyChat to navigate through the choices. So this is a fantastic feature that every chatbot marketer needs to know. Hello, I am Smarty with the ProEdge team. And I'm glad you're here. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. This channel is all about helping realtors and investors, lenders, and so forth. Use chatbot marketing and other tools to grow your business and make this the best year and, as I say, the best decade ever. Let's hop over to ManyChat and let me show you how easy it is to set up these galleries. And don't forget, check out the link below to see my live gallery that I'm showing in this video. Okay, inside your ManyChat system, if you're uh, comfortable with ManyChat, you're going to come over here to the automations menu on the left-hand side. Once you're in there, you can pick any flow or at the very top, create a custom flow. So I'll start out with just a custom flow and just call this a test just to show you how you would do it. So you create a flow and in the flow, um, you're going to start with a message. Now, let's say this is going to be your dynamic menu here. When you come into the editor, down here you'll see a section called gallery. And the gallery, you could, you could say, hi, first name. Uh, instead of first name, what you could do is use a dynamic filter. So I'm gonna say this parameter, hi, first name, uh, check out my services. So over in here, um, a quick message. And then down below, um, what I'd like to always do is give them uh, maybe some fingers or so I could do, uh, po uh, uh, let me do pointers. So I may do this guy and let me do the other one. So I'll do fingers again and I'll do the other one. So I'm going to have fingers pointing. So you go this way or that way uh, and I'll say swipe left and right for my service options so that's one of the things that you should always do in message marketing is say hello to them but also give them instructions because it's the first time they may be in messenger seeing a bot so i say swipe left and right for my services now inside the gallery the gallery can have a title a subtitle and then an image so you would go out to your desk and select an image i'll just grab any image right now like an image of a chat bot uh, and then i would say uh, uh my service one. Now, if you're going to have other services, see right to the right of this, there's a right arrow. If you click on this, and you could also do what's called the card URL before I leave. Um, if they click on the image of that chatbot, you could send them somewhere. So when they're on the card URL, I like to put them in a, in a particular um, uh, URL or, or location. So I may put them in uh, let me go in and just grab any URL for this. My package has lots of URLs. I'll do a web view um, URL. So uh, now to add another card, you simply hit this right mouse and now you have your second card. You could hit plus and hit a third card. And what's happening now in message marketing is you'll see it creates this dynamic gallery where they can go through and swipe through all the options. So that's exactly how you create a dynamic gallery inside the ManyChat flow. Now let me show you some of my ninja tricks to create more of the dynamic gallery. So inside this folder, I have a main menu for my sales bot. And as this comes in, you'll see I have lots of pictures. I made it real pretty here. Um, but what I do in my system is um, I, I call this from all over the place. So uh, you'll see the starting step, other flows are calling this particular flow. And you're going to see why in a minute. I also have a QR code and a URL to send people. So if they want to learn about my chat bot, I could just send them a quick text message URL to say, hey, learn about the bot here. I could have a QR code on a video or on a, uh, any kind of advertising uh, where they scan it and they talk to the bot. Uh, 
So uh, different ways to get them into the flow. Now, one of the first things I do is the ninja trick is I say, have they seen the intro? So if, if the tag isn't saw intro, and this is a, this is a tag that I, I use in the system, uh, then over in here, I'm going to uh, tag them that they saw the intro and then present to them the information about who they are. So it's an introduction to the bot. We take your business to the next level. I have a cute little bot that I show. This is my Pro Edge chat bot here. And then I tell them all the ways that I can engage people on websites, Facebook pages, Instagram ads, Facebook ads, etc. So this is the introduction. So part of the ninja trick is you use these conditions in ManyChat to filter. So if they already saw the intro, don't show them the, in, uh, the introduction over and over again with the bot picture and so forth uh, uh, each and every time they enter the conversation. So uh, what I do though now is once they, I introduce it, now I get into the gallery discussion. So in the gallery, I say here are just a few of the marketing playbooks I can run for you. So if you uh, check out my gallery with the link below, you'll see this exact flow in action. So in here, I have a three gallery option, one for sellers, one for buyers, and how I make you a rock star. So the bot can make all agents, lenders, and investors a rock star just through its marketing. And then I have with each gallery, you could also have different buttons. You could have up to three buttons in many chats. So for sellers, I, I, I do a demo of how we do home valuations, how we manage open houses, and how we get you more listings with the seller option. So uh, they can choose those options. Over here on the buyer side, you know, help and find a home, uh, offering rent to own, or getting a pre-approval pre for a lender. And then making you a rock star, promoting you, uh, running events, delivering newsletters, and so forth. And then from here, I go into all the different conversations. So what happens now is I'm calling other flows, and this is the ninja trick. This is a flow that's demoing this use case. But if I come all the way over to the right, you'll see that I bring them back into next steps. And the next steps here will say, do you want to Go back to the main menu and learn more. Are you ready to get going or not now? So if they say, let me learn a little bit more, you'll see that I'm calling the main menu again. So in the dynamic uh, chatbot marketing, I'm always bringing them back to this main menu so they can go to the next, maybe check out another use case. Uh, I call them playbooks in my ProEdge package. So the, the lead uh, playbook here. Um, is what they're navigating. But now because they already saw the intro, I'm just taking them right back to the menu and they can swipe and pick their next use case. So that allows them to have a very nice experience where they can learn about different use cases, in my case, the lead playbooks. And then when they're done with the playbook, they can say, let me learn more. It brings them back here to the main menu, but it skips all the introduction and just lets them select the next menu in message marketing. So that is exactly how you do a dynamic menu using a gallery and some conditional steps inside your flow so that you can navigate back and forth and let them do different choices and explore your business without being disrupted by showing them the same message over and over again. I hope you like this, this uh, ninja trick I showed. Um, I'm a chatbot person. I've been with uh, IBM and Watson doing AI and advanced AI work for uh, a big company like I IBM. Um, and now I've adopted that inside of uh, ManyChat. And with the ManyChat platform, I also connected it to ChatGBT. So all that interaction is what you're seeing here on the diagram as we build this uh, chatbot for realtors um, using my techniques. But I wanna teach you and uh, to be a ninja as well. That's the purpose of this channel. And I have other solutions I market on the channel. So if you like this content, give me some thumbs up so we could share the love across the, uh, face or the YouTube world and the Facebook world. You could share this video. Uh, and also, you know, consider subscribing if you haven't already. We love having you here. So enjoy this video. Put dynamic galleries to work inside of ManyChat, but put some smarts behind it or some smarties behind it where you're doing all your interaction and navigating through the chatbot experience.